Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for your great support, Luis. I'm so grateful for your continued support to this channel. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. The Limuru residents decided to discipline their own member of parliament, Honorable John Chege Kirabu. This comes after Rigadi Gashagwa was attacked in a certain burial in Limuru. And the allegations were, number one, the area member of parliament, Honorable John Chege Kirabu, was the one behind organizing these goons to attack Rigadi Gashagwa. Number two, reason being, they were planning to undermine, frustrate, and humiliate regarding Ashagwa by attacking him. On the same note, when that burial was finalized, the residents decided that we are going after our member of parliament. What he did was not what we elected him to do. And so I want you to watch the video, how it was, after the burial was finalized, the residents are still angered with what the area member of parliament did in Limuru Barrio. Let us watch the video. <laughs> Now, ladies and gentlemen, before we continue, as you always do, please just do me a favor and show you like the video. When you like the video, you automatically support the work that I'm doing in this channel. Because sometimes you watch and you forget liking the video. So this is just, just a reminder as you watch, ensure you like the video. Now, it is so, so nice. As I can see, Kenyans are realizing that the power belongs to them. It is not way round. The way you can see these members of parliament are showing us like it is them who usually donate powers to us. When the Gen Z's stormed the street, June 25th, and they breached parliament, that was over. It was over Kenyans. Because it was like Kenyans were going to take their powers back. You know? They were going to take their power back. And so these members of parliament, they don't have strength. These members of parliament you're seeing today, they cannot tell us anything. If they play around, they face the consequence. You have seen how the residents of Kenyans are taking this authority on their hearts. If you come with rhetoric stories or narratives, they will not accept. How many times you have seen Akina Cecil Mbarire being heckled in Embu? How many times Akina Irungu Kangata in Nyeru being heckled? How many times you have seen William Ruto being heckled in Nyamira, being heckled in Kisumu, being heckled in Bamburi, Mombasa, being heckled in Western Vihiga and some part of Kakamega. You have seen William Ruto being heckled in Nairobi. Look at Soweto and several, uh, uh, several uh, parts of Nairobi. You have seen William Ruto being heckled in Mount Kenya region. So you can tell that Kenyans are tired with the type 
of leadership we are having. In other words, they're just waiting for 2027. In fact, it is just a waste of time. If today could have been election today, they have, de they have already decided William Ruto and his people, they must go. But on the same note, as much as we are under Constitution 2010, we have freedom of expression and we have freedom of opinion. As much as we must allow these members of parliament to have freedom of, of expression and freedom of opinion, there are some opinions we cannot accept. There are some uh, expressions we cannot accept. It is me that I analyze a video of Sabina Chege requesting for forgiveness that let the people of Kenya allow them to go to their constituencies so that they can do their work. When this member of parliament is coming out to say so, remember one thing, the ground is hostile. Listen to her. I want to urge that we keep peace and beg Kenyans, as your leaders come in, they are fighting for this CDF and GAF and all the funds for your benefit. Kindly allow them to work. We may differ in opinions, but allow your members to come to the ground and work together. The way you have listened to uh, Sabina Chege, you want to tell me and guarantee me that still the ground is not hostile against these members of parliament. And these members of parliament, they have realized that things are not good on their side. And the only criteria to do is to apologize. But again, Kenyans are coming out to reject that. They are not going to accept that. Because when we elect these individuals, they want to serve our interest, not the interest of William Ruto. But now they are serving the interest of William Ruto and their specific parties. We want to tell them even an independent candidate can work for us without even those political parties. But the problem is again, you can elect a member of parliament independent without any political party. But it is easy to buy him or her because she has no authority under any political party. But again, if he or she decide that is going to decide to, to uh, of course they serve the interest of William Samoy Ruto or the president for getting the interest of the people, then I can assure you things might not good for his or her side. So I think when this member of parliament is being shown the door. It is very clear, Kenyans are tired. We cannot continue having members of parliament hiring our fellow citizens to beat us in burials, weddings, and church services. And I think the step that the people of Limuru has decided to take, it is very good. And I think this should continue. Any member of parliament who is planning goons must be shown discipline. Going forward, we must have leaders who can even Walk freely without even firearm. Freely because it will be, there will be a good rapport in between the member of parliament and the residents. Tunataka yunguzi nyatembea freely, you know. Even if work on a security, at least, ana iza sabu nimefanya hii, niko kazi nafanya hii, nikifanya hii. Na ni ule leader, do you know why this leadership or some members of parliament or maenda three times, four times, na watai kutoka? Wanajua Kenya wanapata. Lakini some countries utapata mtu anaenda hata one time, hata two times aname, anachia mwingine anaendeleza. And that is why some countries are developing. But in our country, mtu ali, alianza kuwa leader. 1960 something. And still is the leader. Na tena anawasomea, ati yaonde wanaamua. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you so much because of your great support. Please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing this video. Bye bye till you meet in another video.